Hi, I'm John Mitchell. I'm the Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So uh, today I just wanted to offer a word about Memorial Day, uh, which is a very special holiday in our city for lots of reasons, lots of obvious reasons, but not the least of which is that New Bedford has for a long time distinguished itself as a patriotic community. Uh, our residents have fought in wars going all the way back to the American Revolution uh, through today. And there are New Bedford residents who are uh, right now serving in country in Afghanistan and other parts of the world. Um, uh, and that our, uh, this continuous uh, uh, record of service uh, is really a reflection of uh, our community values. Uh, we treat our veterans well uh, here in, in the city because we believe it's the right thing to do. We believe it's the right message to send to uh, children in particular uh, who might see veterans marching in a parade. We want, we want them to know why it matters so much. And that's why we spend a lot of time on our parades, making them look right, making them uh, reverent as they should be of our veterans, uh, of their service. So uh, this year, uh, as in past years, uh, the parade, the Memorial Day parade will kick off at uh, 1130 uh, on Monday and travel down from, from the high school, from the Bedford High School, down Parker Street, all the way to Klasky Common, uh, where we'll have uh, our speaking ceremony, a brief speaking ceremony. And uh, where this year we'll add uh, one other feature, and that is, um, uh, and this is something that was suggested by the Veterans Advisory Board, where People will be asked, citizens and veterans and others, everybody who comes will be asked to bring a flower along with them so that they can, pre they can uh, present it uh, at the Soldiers and Sailors Monument right in the middle of Klasky Common, which has been recently lighted up by our uh, city DPI. It looks great at night, it looks great during the day, and this year uh, is the 150th anniversary of the dedication of that monument. It was dedicated to, uh, to the veterans, the local veterans of uh, the Civil War the year after the war ended. And so it's a special occasion to not only uh, mark that anniversary, but, but in general uh, an opportunity for our community to make a very individualized statement, uh, statements about, uh, about what, how we feel about veterans. So uh, I ask you to, to, to join us uh, this weekend. There are many other veterans events as we can't make uh, the parade itself. We certainly encourage folks to come to the parade, um, yeah, but you know, use it, I, I would say this, we, we hope that people use it as an opportunity um, to, uh, to uh, have a teachable moment, to make, to make the moment a teachable one, especially for kids, so that they can see the sacrifice uh, that was necessary to make uh, their liberties uh, real and available to them. So, uh, and uh, I wish everybody a happy Memorial Day. Um, we thank veterans for our service that day and every day.